In this section, we will talk about process switching. First of all, the network interface processor since the package on the wire that needs to be processed. It receives the package and transfer it to the I.O. memory. As soon as the interface processors put the packet into the I.O. memory, it sends the interrupt to the processors. As you know, when the processor receives the interrupt, the iOS interrupt software will inspect the package header information such as the encapsulation type, the uh, network layer header, and so on. And in our case, it determines that it is an IP packet. So it places a packet into the input queue for the appropriate switching process and in this case is the IP input. As you can see, the IP input process is in the idle state and when it sees the IP package in the input queue, it changes its state to the running state and in this case there's only one package is being processed, so it moves the package into the top of the queue for processing. Now the actual packet forwarding operation begins. Here's all the decisions are made to direct the receive packet to the final destination. First of all, the IP input process will look into the routing table to see if there's any route entries to the final destination. If one found it will retrieve the address of the next hop from the routing table entries. It then start the app process to build the new MAC address header for the next hop the IP input process will then write the new MAC address header over the existing one. Finally, the package is queued for transmission out to the outbound network interface. And as you can see now, the IP input queue is empty. The IP input process change is dead to idle. As soon as the IP input process put the packet back into the I.O. memory, the main processor send the interrupt to the interface processor telling it that there's a packet waiting for output. The Interface processor then decues the package from I.O. memory and transmit it onto the network. After the outbound interface hardware finish transmitting the packet, it interrupts the main processor to indicate that the package has been transmitted. IOS then updates its outbound package counters and free the space in I.O. memory formerly occupied by the packet. This is the final step. So in order to perform process switching, the IP input process needs three pieces of data. The first one is a reachability. The IP input process need to look into the routing table to make sure the destination network exists in the routing table. And if so, it will look for the next hop IP address. 
then it need to find which outgoing interface should be used to transmit the packet. If there is recursive route, so it needs to perform the recursive lookup to see how to reach the IP next hop address and find the outgoing interface to send the package. In our case, it can find it immediately in the routing entry is an interface G01. Lastly, it needs to find what is the MAC address of the next hop IP address. And in order to find the MAC address of the next hop IP address, it needs to perform the app process if not found in the app cache to find the MAC address of the next hop IP address, 